When new requisitions are created in SpendMap, they can be sent through a quick and easy online approval process. Requisition approvers will receive an automatic email notification, and then they can either approve or reject right from the body of the email message, or they can log into SpendMap on any type of device to review the requisitions that are waiting for their approval. Compared to outdated approval processes using paper, Excel, or email, SpendMap can save you a bunch of time and effort and accelerate your approval process by days. When new requisitions are processed, SpendMap can send an email notification to the approvers automatically. You can enable the email notifications here in the user master file. By default, the email notification will simply let the approvers know that they have new orders to review with a link to log into SpendMap where they can approve and reject their requisitions. Or, if you enable the email approval feature in here, email notifications will include additional details of the requisition, and then you can approve or reject requisitions right from the body of the email message itself without having to log into SpendMap. I'm going to log into SpendMap to approve some requisitions on my desktop computer, but again, you can also use your smartphone or tablet if you prefer. You can approve requisitions using this menu option or this toolbar button. So this is the approver's to-do list. As requisitions are approved or rejected, they'll be removed from the list automatically. If proxy appears next to the requisition number, it means that the requisition actually needs someone else's approval, but they've rerouted their orders to you as their proxy approver. Also note the date required for each order. This might help you prioritize your work. And if you're tracking your budgets in SpendMap, note the color coding of the requisitions. So let's take a look at this item requisition. I'll double click to drill into the item details, and here's a list of all the items on the requisition, but you may not necessarily need to approve everything. Only lines that show a question mark actually need your approval. You can't affect the other items if they don't need your approval, but you still might want to look at the details before approving your items. So if this item summary screen has enough information for you to make a decision, you can use these buttons to accept or reject individual line items, or you can use this button to approve everything in one shot. If you still need to see more information before making a decision, SpendMap puts all the details at your fingertips. Use this button to check the status of the budgets that are affected by this requisition. Since each item could theoretically have different account coding, when you check budgets from here, you'll see a list of all of the budgets that are affected by the order, but you can also drill into an individual budget item to see more details if you like. If there are any internal notes, you can preview the notes by hovering your mouse over this icon, or you can use this button to add additional notes or any file attachments. You can also double click to drill into the details of a line item, for example, to check the account coding or other details. From here, you can even modify the requisition to keep it moving forward in the process, rather than rejecting it and sending it back to the requisitioner to make changes. If your approvers are going to be modifying requisitions during the approval process like this, you might want to enable this email notification to let the original requisitioner and the previous approvers know that something was changed after the fact. Or, if you prefer that previous approvers actually re-approve the requisition rather than just getting an email notification, you can enable this setting in miscellaneous requisition approval settings, and the requisition will start the approval process over again if it's modified. If you like, you can select the individual fields that'll trigger a reapproval if the requisition is modified, like maybe the dollar amount or the account coding, as opposed to just correcting a spelling mistake or something. And just as a reminder, when you're away from your desk, you can still approve requisitions using your smartphone or tablet, or you can approve right from the email notification that you receive from SpendMap on any type of device. So those are the basics of how the requisition approval process works in SpendMap. It can be as quick and easy as a single click in the body of an email message, all the way through to a full and detailed review of the requisition and all related information, if that's what your approvers need to see. There are two ways to route requisitions for approval in SpendMap. If you like, your staff can select one or more approvers manually when entering new requisitions in the system. But for better control, it's much more common to pre-establish business rules that will automatically route new requisitions to the right people for approval. You can set up the approval workflow using configure approval rules and miscellaneous approval rules and settings. When building your list of rules, you can use any of these fields, which we call routing criteria, either individually or in combination with one another. 
the most common approval rules tend to be based on the cost center plus one or more dollar value thresholds. So for example, you would enter a department, project, or other cost center code in this field, leaving all the other fields as is, and then you'd enter one or more dollar value thresholds down here, along with the applicable approvers at each level. But you can also combine routing criteria to create more granular or specific rules. So for example, if I were to fill in both the cost center field and the item category field on the same rule, I would be telling SpendMap where to send computer supply orders for the marketing department, but that wouldn't apply to computer supplies coming from other cost centers, and it also wouldn't apply to other category of items that the marketing department asks for. So again, you can set up as many approval rules as you like, either using individual fields or a combination of routing criteria, and when new requisitions are processed, SpendMap will search through all of the rules that you've set up and find the ones that apply to the order. To learn more about setting up your approval workflow in SpendMap, take a look at this section of the online help. If you'd like to see what happens in SpendMap after the approval process is complete, check out the related video tutorials on our YouTube channel.